Stadsgroat Promenade. That's just Disgroat's place. According to this, the flamingo's pink colouring is caused by embarrassment. Oh look, it's Sebastian. It says here he's a pompous old windbag. What? Who is loyal, handsome and good at remembering what to do next. Oh really? Ah, the albatross. Did you know that albatross is actually Latin for white tross? Apparently, rough tough ptarmigans used to live on Vogel Island before rising temperatures drove them away to the icy Northlands. Hmm, it seems the puffin got its distinctive markings by falling under a clown's curse. Hooray, a spoon beak! What the? It says here they're called spoon bills. Stupid name. That's the shanty town. Before I was born, my father had a romantic fling with the pirate Susie Fireboots. That resulted in William Bloodbeard and a number of bawdy limericks. It's awful. A baron with a pirate half-brother. If the ladies at my club knew, it would mean scandal. Bloodbeard and I got along well before I realised he was a treacherous slug swine. But now, at long last, I have the upper hand on little Willie. Don't call him that. Sorry, my little ballista. Oh, this family tree business is horrid. Get to the treasure. Ah, yes. The treasure. About Bloodbeard, did you know the Baron and him were brothers? Well, William never talked about it. But I got the impression they used to get along once. Weird. Bye! Lady Cheng's Junk Shop. And it's in a Chinese junk. Very clever. The paper lanterns make the place look very cheerful. I don't think that will work. Oh, the door's locked. I can't get in. Can you help? Hey, Sebastian. Can you squeeze in there and wake her up? We shall see. Wake up, old woman. Make a cuckoo noise. No, it's undignified. Do it. <sighs> cuckoo, cuckoo. Good morning. Welcome to Lady Chang's Antique Emporium. She's the shopkeeper. Good work waking up Lady Chang. Welcome, valued customer. Please take a look round. Nice shop you have here. Thank you, my dear. If you like anything, I'll give you a special price. Looks like your cuckoo escaped. He was probably hypnotised, like all the birds on Vogel Island. Uh, what? My nemesis, Baron Widebeard. He's hypnotised a load of birds. Nemesis? Yeah, I hate that guy. You want to harpoon him? I've got a harpoon. Very good condition. Um... No, better not. Bye. Take your time. Look around. Dusty old ceramics from all over the world. A red paper lantern. A cuckoo clock, sans cuckoo. They say flicker by reel on them. Nah, they all look the same to me. There's a thing on the counter here. It says flicker by light box. Some fruity old liqueurs and spirits. One of them's called Mama Fish Cakes Non Specific. Mama Fish Cakes Non Specific. I'll take this, please. Good choice.
bat's junk food. It's in a Chinese junk. I get it. Wait a minute. That's the exact same junk pun twice in one location. Calm down, Nelly. No, it's lazy, shoddy writing. I'm not going to stand for this. It's treating people like idiots who want the same old repetitive rubbish. Forget it, Nelly. It's Chinatown. Ah! You call yourself aromatic sauce. He has the noble, sweaty face of a chef. A large copper gong. That looks useful. It smells funny. It looks like he's trying to divine the future with that pendulum. I can't reach it. What do you want? Hello. Sit down and eat, or get out. What? No talking. I don't like talk. How rude. What do you recommend? I recommend you leave before I blow my top. Our man, what have I done to you? That's a very nice copper gong. I strike it whenever I'm about to throttle an annoying person. Would you like a demonstration? Cool it, fats. Have a sniff of your startled muskrat candle. Oh, that should calm him down, miss. Like all great chefs, he's prone to mood swings. Welcome to Fats Junk Food. Hello. Greetings. I am the proprietor. Will you be dining with us today? What do you recommend? I like the look of the dim sum, but there better not be any ducks in there. The dim sum is excellent, reasonably priced and duck free. Perhaps later. That's a very nice copper gong. Oh yes, purely ornamental, but a very fine piece. Would you maybe give it to me? Aha, I live to please customers, but I'm afraid I could not be so generous. It has been in my family for generations. Please, can I have the gong? With the greatest respect, I prefer to tell you about our menu. Go on, just lend it to us. I told you, no! You've done it now, miss. What do you want? I'm leaving. Don't let the door smash you into pieces! Hi! Don't tell me now. Um, you're the vole. No, Pelican. Why are you saying those things? I'm a psychic fortune teller. It's my job. Can you tell my psychic fortune? Oh, well, it is hard to see your aura in this light. But I see you are going on a long journey. Wow, I am going on a long journey. I'm getting a name. William. Does that make sense? Do you know a William in the spirit world? Yes, William Bloodbeard. Oh, yes, that's right. Yes, now I can see William. He's standing beside you now. Can you? And he's got a message for you. He's saying... Stop wasting time with this charlatan and get back to work. Sometimes the spirits can be quite hurtful. What's the matter with the chef? Oh, he's just a little temperamental. But he is a whiz with a walk. So what's with the candle? That is a startled muskrat scent aromatherapy candle. Blech. It's not blur, it's one of the mystical I Ching candles. I Ching candles? Yes, a startled muskrat scent soothes and calms his rages. Hmm, I might get some for when the red mist descends on me. Oh no, no, the effects vary from person to person based on star sign. Here, take this handy promotional chart. Where can I get other I Ching candles? Well, I normally get them from Bolson Nethers, the smuggler. Nethers? A smuggler? Yes, but he hasn't made his latest delivery. I wonder if something went wrong. Aren't you psychic? I sense that something went wrong. Bye. See you again. I hear you're a smuggler. Oh, I don't know if I'd say smuggler exactly. No, I, I merely help folk get hold of certain items what they desire. By smuggling? Well, through the medium of smuggling, yes. 
can you get me some I Ching candles? Why, that's the very thing I come here with. I got orders to fill all over the island. Unfortunately, Van Zandt's got them. What? Yeah, he caught us coming ashore and impounded them all as contraband. Says I've got to pay customs duty to get them back. And me with my pockets empty as a temperance league social club. Outrageous. He's probably counted his gold as we speak. What if I get Van Zandt to release the candles? Well, then you can have anyone you wanted. But you won't find it easy. Van Zandt, he only listens when money talks. I'll see what I can do. See you round. Aye, aye. He's counting up Van Zandt's extortionate customs duties. I wonder where all this cash money comes from. Oi! Just straightening the pile. Can you... He doesn't look so tough. Steal his gold, Sebastian. Come on, are you just going to sit there like a coward? Watch me. Hello? Multiplied by the denominator, carry the one. Hello? Ah, you made me lose it. Don't bother Scurvy Shaw. He's the deadliest pirate accountant on these isles. Some coins have been there jostled onto the floor. It would be irresponsible not to steal them. Hello again. For a value not exceeding 200 rubles. Hello? Ah, lost it again. Leave him alone. I'd better let him get on with it. Hey, remember when I beat you at that game? What about it? Go away. I hear you have Nethers' candle shipment. Yes. Customs duties apply to all imports containing essential oils, caffeine, alcohol, chocolate, licorice, books, human hair, spectacles, clothing, building materials, fabric, grain, anything yellow, clocks, cutlery. Or put it another way, whatever the hell I fancy. That smuggler has to pay customs duty if he wants the smelly candles. How much for the candles? Six gold dalders. What? That'd buy a year's supply. How terribly unfortunate. See ya. Six gold dalders. Here's your money. Now hand over the candles before I throw in a free shin kick. Business is business. Take the stinking things. I'd better give this package to Nethers. I guess those are the I Ching scents. Ahoy! See you around. Hi, hi. I got your I Ching candles. Oh, you're a belter, Nelly. Do you mind if I keep one of them for personal use? Which scent would you like? Cinnamon fog, please. No problem.
There we go. A thousand welcomes to Fat's Junk Food. Hello. Please, take a seat, dear customer. Take as many as you like. My seats are at your disposal. What do you recommend? You simply must try the dim sum. Here. Delicious. How much is it? Oh, it's on the house, my dear. My customer's smiles are the only reward I seek. About that nice copper gong? Oh, yes. Yeah. Purely ornamental, but a pleasant piece. Would you maybe give it to me? Of course. Really? Certainly. I'm sure a young woman of your taste will find a better home for it. How generous of you. Thanks. I'm leaving. Safe journey. That's Vogel Island. now. Hmm. Here you go. Well, this is the perfect antenna. Good work. All we need now is some kind of copper dish. Here you go. Copper dish. Well done, Nelly. Excellent. That's everything I need to complete the bird detector. How long will it take to finish? Oh, not too long. I'll meet you in the harbor as soon as it's ready. Cool. I'm still working on getting a ship to mount it on. And I persuaded Grote to make me a privateer. So we shouldn't have any trouble heading after the birds. Bloodbeard's most precious cargo. A great treasure stolen from my father by his mother. And soon, it will be mine. But what is it? It is a great treasure. Right. What kind of treasure is it? A very great... What kind? Well, beloved Archibus, it is a chest of gold, jewels, dalders, doubloons. Presumably. Oh. Yeah, and best of all, a priceless gold locket. A locket William Bloodbeard treated as if it held unearthly powers. I saw him carrying it when his ship left on its final voyage. And now I will take back what should have been mine long ago. <laughs> right, you do that. I'll take care of all the gold. Presumable gold. An old notice board. Hmm. The old board is encrusted. I'll wipe off the dirt with this cloth. That's better. Justice Grote presents. So Justice Grote was backing the voyage. It looks like the airship was supposed to go to Grockle Island but the voyage was cancelled. Yes? Do you remember Captain Lear? Eh? What? Captain Lear of the Sanitania. You were supposed to sponsor his voyage to Grockle Island. I can't be expected to remember. Um, Enid is in charge of the records. Perhaps she can help you. Catch you later.
Uh, excuse me. Do you remember Captain Lear of the Sanitania? Just as Groat was meant to sponsor his voyage to Grockle Island. Oh yes, the one that was cancelled. Yes. Do you remember what kind of voyage it was meant to be? It was a luxury cruise, of course. Just as Groat was very keen to encourage tourists to visit us. So did J. Grow break his promise? J. Grow? Just as Groat. Did he leave Leah high and dry with no financial backing? No, it was the harbour master. Van Zandt? No, the previous harbour master, Hetty Lohman. She resigned under a cloud of suspicion around about then. Lohman, eh? What happened with harbour master Lohman? There were rumours she had been stealing, you see. Nothing was proven, but she stepped down anyway. And Van Zandt took over? Yes, that's right. Hmm. You can probably ask Loman about it yourself. She's normally three sheets to the wind in a tavern at this time. Bye. Toodaloo. This is Hetty Lohman, the old harbour master. I think she might be the one who broke a promise to Captain Lear, but she's drunk as an owl right now. Somehow, I need to perk this one up. Hello? Hello? Oh, not so loud. Do you have a hangover? <sighs> Guys, I think it's a hangover. Oh, I can't talk until I get a drink. Uh, sorry, Miss Lohman. You need to sober up. Ugh. Here, drink this sober, Joe. Come on, it'll perk you up. Diabolical. All right, what do you want? I'm investigating the Sanitania. The what? Captain Leah's old airship. That old hulk? Why? Are you feeling all right? No worse than usual. But... Don't worry about me. Just give me some peace and quiet. Did you break your promise to Captain Leah? I... I suppose I did. So what happened? A lousy snake in a suit happened. Van Zandt? Van Zandt. Pah. What did Van Zandt do? He said he'd frame me for stealing Groot's pocket watch. Said I would hang if I didn't quit as harbour master. I knew he could do it too, and I was a coward. So you quit? I had promised Captain Lear he'd get an exit permit, but after I left, Van Zandt refused him. Van Zandt wants privateers, not pleasure cruises. I see. Huh, I thought I'd forgotten all of that. What got you asking all these questions? I'm trying to help Leah recover his memory. I found this picture on his ship. That's not just a picture. It's a frame from a flicker by reel. Come again? A moving picture showing the launch. Except it never did launch. That was the day I quit. A flicker by reel, eh? Goodbye! Keep it down, will ya? They say flicker by reel on them. Loman said Leah's picture came from a flicker by. Maybe I can match it to one of these reels. Aha! Uh -huh. This one has the same reference number. Let's try slotting this into the machine. Ah! 
I love movies. What are we watching? I don't know. That was rubbish. Want to buy it? So the name of the ship isn't the Sanitania at all. It's the Santiana. Santiana. Mama fish cakes. Can you fix the airship's engines now? In two metric jiffies. Job's done. She's ready to fly. Thanks for your help. Um. Okay, here's a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a ship's captain called Lear. Story time. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent vestibule. He was going on a voyage. And Lear was going on a voyage to... On a voyage to Grockle Island and back. Grockle Island. Yes, that's where I was going. But why would he go? Isn't he happy at home? Um, he was voyaging because... He was captaining a luxury cruise. That's right. Step aboard, kings, princes, captains of industry. Join me for the voyage of a lifetime. But, but someone breaks a promise to Lear. Yes? They betray him. What? Oh yes, a promise. They promise to give Lear an exit permit. Yes. Loman told me we could leave harbour then. Everything changed. And the sky ship's name. What was her name? Her name was the Santiana. Not the Sanitania. The Santiana. Yes. Yes. I'm Captain Lear of the Santiana. Of course you are. What the hell are you doing on my bridge? Hey. I just restored your memory. You did? Oh yes, of course. I'm very grateful, my dear. When Van Zant scuppered my dream of flying away from this dump, I'm sorry to say it drove me to madness. He's the one who should be sorry. Why don't you teach Van Zant a lesson? How? Well, off the top of my head, you could chase down the evil Baron Whitebeard with me. I am at your service, miss. But without exit papers, Van Zandt's cannons will tear us asunder. Let me worry about the paperwork. You reacquaint yourself with the big wheel. Aye, aye, miss. Captain Nelly Kutalot. Aye, aye, Captain. Is the ship ready to fly? The readouts are good for the pumps and bellows. Pressure at 0.25 atmospheres. Propellers, functional. She's ready to fly. Bye. I'm almost ready to leave. I'd better meet Rackham at the harbour. Nelly, it's rehab. Psst. I'm not surprised. You've been drinking since morning. Nelly, you have to get out of here now. Van Zandt has a warrant out for your arrest. What? They're blaming you for all the thefts. They've taken the cat burglar to the courthouse as an accessory. But that's ridiculous. You've got to leave harbour now. Flee! Leeway. That's what Van Zandt expects me to do. I'm going to stay and prove my innocence. <laughs> 